Good morning, everyone. Thank you very much for joining me. And Happy New Year. Well, I imagine you felt that earthquake there by Susanville. It was originally a 5.3, but USGS revised it to a 4.9. And once again, it was probably along the uh, Honey Lake Fault that I reported on before. Uh, more than likely, there has been tension that has built up within this location. And any earthquake does have a 10% chance of being a foreshock for something much larger. Just the other day, there was a magnitude 5.0 that USGS revised to a 4.7. So this one is stronger. So stick with me. I'm going to dive into the details about this uh, earthquake and the potential for something much larger. Hi, everyone. I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you very much for joining me. Happy New Year, everybody. Thank you for sharing my videos. Thank you for your support. God bless you all. I had reported about this 5.0, how it's in the Walker Lane seismic zone, and there's an offshoot coming from Eagle Lake going down in this direction um, called the Honey Lake seismic zone. This earthquake uh, late last night at 9.49 p.m. local time that 1,228 people said they felt when USGS gave it an intensity level of 7, which means there was damage. Um, yeah, if, if it was built strongly, it was, you know, the maintenance is kept up, might have been small cracks in the plaster, broken windows, things like that. People might want to check their chimneys and water and gas lines just to be on the safe side. Here's the map for the felt reports. Yeah, it was felt, oh, San Francisco, um, even further south. Yeah, um, Fresno, it looks like maybe. Let me zoom in here. If we got a, no, we don't have a name there. But that was 468 kilometers to the southwest, which would be about 290 miles. It's like, oh, my goodness. Okay. So, going in closer, let's see, uh, intensity level 7, one report of damage, 6, they probably got damage too, and then how far south, let's check it out, looks like all the way up here by, uh, uh, near Oregon it looks like. So that would be about 127 miles. It's like, oh my goodness, there's Medford. Yeah, this is close to, um, yeah, that is in fact the border of California and Oregon. You might want to jump over and look at the video that I posted about the uh, 5.0. It occurred on the 28th that USGS downgraded to a 4.7. I'll show you there um, the different faults that run through this location. Now, the Honey Lake Fault runs, oh, probably about 31 miles that it extends. And there is surface ruptures from past earthquakes that are visible in that location, if you were to walk around. It passes through Dole Valley and Long Valley and runs about, oh, let's see, about 20 to 30 miles southeast of um, Susanville. There's Susanville right there. Let me bring this in so you can see it a little bit better. So this uh, fault zone would extend past Susanville. It is capable of having large earthquakes. I talked about that before too. The Honey Lake Fault is capable of having a 6.8 to a 7.2. Like I said, it looks like tension has built up. So I hope everyone is prepared or doing things to prepare for a large quake. If there was a 7.3, here's an example of what type of damage could occur there. These are images of similar earthquakes um, from different areas from past events. Yeah, uh, yeah, you can see all the unreinforced brick that would collapse. Uh, wooden buildings would probably collapse. They would probably move off their uh, foundation. Yeah, there would be um, uplift along the fracture zones of probably several feet. Um, Susanville has a population of, what, 17, 18,000 people. 
there would probably be gas fires from broken gas lines. Um, also, um, water lines, infrastructure would be greatly affected. And there would be many deaths and injuries. Here's some of the felt reports that were sent in to EMSC. Thank you very much for doing that. Shook the house pretty aggressively. Um, that was in um, Hamilton Branch. Um, shook us pretty good. Let's see. Uh, Cedarville. Now that was 120 kilometers northeast. Said it was light shaking. Uh, North Valley, Reno, Nevada. I felt slight rocking and jiggling. Uh, I also heard the house rocking back and forth. My dog started whining and then I felt the movement and my lamp shook. That was Chico. Wow. 131 kilometers southwest. So that would be about 81 miles. Uh, Sparks. Would that be Nevada? Rolling. Redding. Uh, got the uh, shake alert on my phone waiting for any shaking. No shaking felt. Yeah. Redding. Okay. Um, Sparks. Again, barely perceivable. Small vibration, house creaked, and San Francisco. I was getting up from my chair and suddenly I felt the earth move under my feet. Reminds me of that song. Was it Carly Simon? Felt the earth move under my feet? So I would like to know if you felt this earthquake and what kind of damage did you have? It might have been light damage, knickknacks, things like that. It fell off your, your counters or um, off the walls. Please put those comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Please be prepared. Um, and I'll talk to you later. God bless you.